Today's video is a new part in our Van Build Basics series. You can check out the others which cover topics like electrics, heating, solar, Wi-Fi and gas by clicking the playlist up here or it's linked in the video notes. In this video we'll be talking about the basic plumbing of a van's water system, so stay with us. Don't miss any of our regular videos by hitting that subscribe button now. You can also check out our website at explorevan.uk for more details on our vans, trips and all the products we talk about. When it comes to your van's water installation, you can keep it simple or make it as complicated as you like. In most cases, you will need some basic things. Somewhere to keep it, a way to fill it, some way to dispense it and a way to get it there, a place to store the dirty stuff and a way to get rid of it. Let's take a closer look at each of these elements. Fresh water tanks can be as simple as a water container you can carry to the tap to fill and then store in a cupboard in your van or you can go for an externally mounted tank. With these you will need to think about how you'll fill it by adding a fill point of some sort. There are lots of options for taps. Some self-contained taps have their own pumps, either manual or electric built in. You can get simple taps designed for caravans and campers or you can even use mixer taps or maybe even make your own. For taps that need a separate pump, you need to think about how that will be switched on. Taps with built-in pumps obviously don't need extra switches. Taps like these have built-in micro switches, which are wired to the pump circuit to switch the pump on when the tap is opened. If you're looking to use taps that don't have built-in switches, you can use a pressure switch. This senses when the water pressure in the pipe drops as you open the tap and switches the pump on. Some pumps, which we're going to talk about next, have built-in pressure switches. The simplest pump and least likely to fail are manual pumps. These can be hand or foot operated. You could use one of these taps which has a built-in USB powered pump. You can also get electric submersible or inline pumps. A submersible electric pump is cheap and good for if you're using a portable water carrier as it's easier to pop in and out and replace if it does fail. An inline pump is more suited to an external tank as you can mount it inside the van so it can be maintained or replaced and isn't rattling around in the external tank. For wastewater it's pretty much the same as fresh. It can be portable or externally mounted. If external you'll need to add a drain tap to empty them. I recommend a large diameter so that you reduce the chance of blockages and make it drain quicker. When you're piping in your waste tank, smell is something to think about. You can get water traps to prevent gases from the tank coming back up the plug hole or a simple U-bend in flexible pipe will do the same job. Some additional extras you may want to consider are filters. A simple membrane filter can help protect your pump from foreign objects. You can also install more complex filters that help to purify the water. An accumulator is a small tank which stores pressurised water within the system used when you are using a pressure switch system. It smooths the flow of water through the system to your tap, avoiding the pulsing flow you often get without one. It can also help to extend the life of your pump and water heater. Talking of water heaters, if you've not already seen it, check out our video specifically on the different types of water heating system that you could use. Now let's take a look at some examples of systems. To keep it super simple, a small tank inside your van with a pipe running to a manually pump tap and a bowl with no plug is the easiest option by far. You can just throw the water outside when you're finished with it. Now although this is super simple and the water is protected from the cold inside your van, you do have limited water capacity, it uses up some space in your van and it might not always be convenient or appropriate to dispose of your water by throwing it outside. Now a similar principle but slightly more complex would be an internal tank running to an electric pump to a tap into a bowl that drains into an internal waste tank which you can carry away to dispose of. Again it's simple, it's protected from the cold, it does have limited capacity and the waste tank inside the van can smell. Now moving to a more complex situation you can have an outside water tank with a fill point that runs to an internal tap via an inline pump and accumulator. The sink then drains into the external waste tank which has a drain tap. 
It's also worthwhile having a drain tap on your fresh water tank to make it easier to drain it in the cold. This will help to prevent freezing because that is one of the risks of this setup. It does free space up inside the van, all the smelly water is outside and it's easily expendable to add additional taps. It's also easy to add in a water heater to give you both hot and cold running water. Thanks for watching our video and as always if you have any questions or feedback please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful please like, share and consider subscribing.